Welcome back to CBS 6 Early Morning. A Henrico man who was paralyzed seven years ago from a gunshot wound amazingly was able to walk across the stage for his college graduation last night. Take a look. Khalil Watson received a standing ovation as he walked to get his diploma with the help of a robotic exoskeleton loaned by, out by Sheltering Arms Physical Therapy. He received his associate's degree from Reynolds Community College. Watson was not able to walk the stage at his high school graduation, which has made this moment even more special. Having to see it from the hospital bed in, in, in high school and now, now being able to actually experience it physically means 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 a lot to me mm. and before those special steps across the stage our jake burns was there when watson tried on that exoskeleton it's a safe bet khalil watson wouldn't call it miraculous that even though he's paralyzed from the neck down you're about to watch him walk across the room two three when you're sitting down all the time you know things can start to get uncomfortable and just being able to get up upright on your feet and just being able to get any type of leg movement, whether it's, someone, whether it's having someone stretch your legs for you or just walking, you know, feels, feels amazing. With the help of this robotic exoskeleton, Watson is extending that feeling to the stage. He'll walk Monday night to get his diploma from J. Sargent Reynolds Community College, an experience he's never had. Fast, but not real fast. Fast, but not real <laughs> In 2016, I suffered a gunshot wound to, to the neck. I was in the hospital from May 26th until August 11th. Prom was the week after I got shot and graduation was the following week. I had to miss graduation and prom due to being hospitalized. The physical work it's taken for him to reach this point in just six plus years has been immense. I was like a baby all over again. I had to learn how to breathe on my own, eat, and speak. If it wasn't for all of my therapists, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am today. Like, like I, I've always been strong mentally and I always knew I wanted to go to school. I've always been determined and self-driven. I just trying to let anything stop me, regardless of my circumstances. You know, I feel like things can always be worse than what they are, and that's how I'm able to keep going. Sheltering Arms Physical Therapy is loaning out the exoskeleton for Watson's graduation walk. I really appreciate Sheltering Arms because if it wasn't for them, you know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have accomplished a lot of my goals. In a situation where most people would understandably fold. It lets you know, you know, that Things aren't aren't over yet, you know, and, and it, it's, it's, I wouldn't say confidence builder, but, you know, just something that gives you, you know, hope and faith, you know, to, to, to keep pushing. Maybe the miracle of Watson's story comes step by step. I did this for my family, my friends, myself, and you know, like I was saying, you know, being able to walk on stage would mean everything because I wasn't able to do so in, in, in high school, and I'll now be able to say that all my hard work has finally paid off. You never know. One day, I may be out of this woods. And that was our Jake Burns reporting. Khalil plans to attend VCU in the fall, where he will seek his bachelor's and master's degree in social work. Of course, we wish him all the best, don't we? Way to go, Khalil. Mm -hmm.